Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel Sun. I'm here today to do a review and give you my thoughts on By the Fireplace, the replica line by uh, Mason Martin Margiela. But I want to give two shout outs, then I'll give you some facts, then I'll give you my thoughts and feelings about this. The first shout out is to Eve Dirac. She is my excellent friend on Facebook. Um, she's the one who sent me this um, to try out. And my second shout out is to Charles German. He is my good um, friend on my YouTube channel. Um, my last review, I had a ton of samples and I asked if anybody wants to see me do a review on, on one of these samples, let me know which one and I'll do it. And he's the one who suggested by the fireplace. So thank you, Charles, and thank you, Eve. All right, let me give you some facts. Maison Martin Margiela is a French fashion house in Paris. Um, this is an EDT. It come out in 2015. The top notes are pink pepper, orange flower petals, clove oil, chestnut accord, uh, chestnut accord in the heart notes, and guyac wood oil, cade oil, and in the base notes, vanilla accord, Peru balsam, and cashmere, or cashmirin. Now, let me tell you what I think about this. I've been wearing this for a couple of days, so I got a really good feeling um, and got to know this very, very well. Let me uh, spray this and I'll tell you what I think. And I wore this all last night and really took it in and really experienced this, so I've got to know it a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, and that's that's beautiful. I don't usually compare fragrances when I'm doing a review to other things, but I want to do I want to compare this to two other fragrances that I have, just to sort of give you an idea of what this reminds me of. My all-time favorite fragrance, my favorite fragrance that I have in my collection, I think the most beautiful fragrance is Japur Ohm by Bougeron, the Eau de Parfum. This by the fireplace sort of reminds me a little bit of this. And it reminds me of something else too um, when I started wearing it. It is Pure Tonka by Mugler. It reminds me of that too. It's got that sweet gourmand, oriental spicy vibe to it to me. But I don't get any pink pepper from this. Actually, let me tell you what I do get instead of what I don't get. I get a little bit of that orange flower petals. Um, I get a lot of that chestnut accord. And even though hazelnut isn't in the notes, I sort of get also not just the chestnut, but I sort of get like a hazelnut type of scent from this. I definitely get vanilla. I get the cashmere in the dry down, which the cashmere and vanilla and the chestnut, that nutty accord, is some of my all-time favorite fragrances. It's very gourmand to me. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's got that oriental spicy fragrance to it. This to me, and it does have a little bit of smokiness, but just barely, just a little bit in the background. And that smokiness comes from Cade Oil. That's where you get that smokiness from, but it's just, you can just barely pick it up, which is very nice. This is extremely well blended. This is a pure fragrance, and what I mean by that is I do not get any kind of synthetics, any kind of anything artificial at all. This is like blended perfectly. I love this. This is like, and the replica line is not necessarily, I don't think in my personal opinion, is supposed to smell like a certain thing, but when you wear it, it's supposed to invoke certain feelings and certain, certain like 
places that you've been. It's, it's supposed to invoke like feelings. And I think the name by the fireplace, I think they named this brilliantly because when I wear this with that vanilla and the chestnut and the slightly sweet and the slightly spicy, it to me it invoke, invokes like Christmas and winter and holiday by the fireplace with your friends and your family and everybody's in a good mood and there's plenty of like there's a fireplace in the living room going and people are cooking desserts and baking that's what when I wear this that's what I get that's the feeling that I that I get myself and I also get another scent that I've never heard anybody mention before. Do you know when you roast marshmallows on a fire and the marshmallows are starting to turn brown? Do you know that smell of a roasted marshmallow? That's another fragrance or scent that I get when I wear this. Oh. What a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. As a matter of fact, this is, this, this to me is comforting and relaxing. And it just gives me a feeling of comfort and warmth, I guess. What a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I don't have a full bottle of this, but, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to get one this winter or not, but this will be in my collection by next winter and next fall. I guarantee you that this is one of the best fragrances that I've ever smelled. The only thing that comes close to this is my all-time favorite fragrance, Jipor Om by Bougeron. This is my all-time favorite fragrance, but this is right up there. I mean, this is like neck and neck to me. I didn't think I would get another fragrance as good as Jipor Om by Bougeron Eau de Parfum. I was wrong. And it's really close to the Pure Tonka too. It's got that sort of like the Pure Tonka DNA. But what a beautiful scent. What a relaxing scent. I love this time of year, fall and winter and Christmas time. And when I wear this, this reminds me of like the holidays, like Thanksgiving and Christmas and friends and family. And it's just, oh my God, I wish you could, I wish you could, the people who don't have this, I wish you could smell my arm right now and just experience this fragrance. The, uh, the performance on this is perfect to me on my skin it's about seven hours which is perfect and the projection and sealage is perfect it it's not a loud fragrance it doesn't project a long way it forms a bubble around you like two feet bubble and that is perfect because this kind of scent i don't want people like in the next building to smell it. This is a personal scent. And but the people around you in like a two or three foot area will be able to experience this also. As a matter of fact, if I was around somebody who had this on, I would want to this is a very inviting fragrance. If I smelled this on somebody, I would want to get close to them and just like be around them just because of the, of the smell. It is so beautiful. With that chestnut, hazelnut accord, and the vanilla accord, and the cashmerian, or cashmere, and the mild, sweet, oriental, spicy. This is just top of the line. There is no, this is a pure fragrance. There's no synthetics. There's no artificial anything. This is 100% pure fragrance. This smells like the real deal. 
and man if y'all haven't gotten this uh highly 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 suggest this this is beautiful this is one of the most beautiful scents i've ever had and ever experienced ever it is 126 dollars for i think like a 3.3 ounce which I've never really gotten anything over 60 cents a mil, but this is this is one fragrance that I think I would that would change my mind about this. I would probably be willing to save up my money to spend $126 on a full bottle of this. I'm not joking. This is one of the ones that would change my mind about my little rule. $126, uh, Sophia Barney's. Um, I don't think you can expect to get this on discount sites. Um, you could probably get it at eBay or Amazon, but I do not do Amazon or eBay, especially for fragrances like this. I only do fragrance or purchase fragrances like this from reputable places. You can also get it on Mason Martin Margiela's website, I believe, but stick with Barney's and Sephora and all those guys, um, maybe Macy's has it, but get them from there. I think they're going to be all the same price. Um, I don't think anybody's going to be higher. I think it's going to be strictly 126 for this. So, man, if you don't have this, get it. I'm serious. Excellent for Christmas. Excellent for cold. But anyway, that's it for my review. And today is Saturday. And I have to go to work, but I hope everybody's doing well, and I love you guys. And I was planning on making a little uh, a little video, not a review, but maybe a little video on Christmas Day, just to say hey to all my friends on here. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all later, and I love you guys, and have a good weekend. Bye.